Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding customers who bought all products and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past 6 months. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called customer with two different columns, customer ID and product key. There is no primary key for this table, so obviously it can contain duplicates. Product key is a foreign key to the product table. And remember, this word is very important in this question. We are also given a second table called product with only one column, product key. And product key is the primary key column for this table. So primary key means non-null unique values. Right? We are asked to write a SQL query to report the customer IDs from the customer table that bought all the products in the product table. The order of the result doesn't matter. So if we go through this example, so there are two products, five and six, customer ID one bought five and bought six, and customer ID two only bought six, customer ID three bought five and six. So the customers who bought all the products from the product table are ID one and three, right? And that is going to be the output. Okay, so here what we need to do is the first thing that we need to understand is what is what are the values of a foreign key, right? So foreign key references a column within the table or outside that table, right? So here product key of this table customer is a foreign key to the product table, right? So it is referencing this this column of product table. Now foreign key can take values either null or it can take values of whatever values it is referencing to, right? So the values that can come in this column can be either null or a subset of the values that this product key takes. Now based on this what we can do is and group by the customer ID, right? So once we have a group by different customer IDs, then we can perform a count on distinct product keys, right? So what will this give? So for example, for customer ID one, what will be the distinct count of product keys? Two, right? Five and six. Similarly, for two, it is going to be one, six, and for three, it is going to be two. Now, if that count of distinct products is equal to the count of distinct products from the product table, then obviously that customer has bought all the products from the product table, right? And why is this possible to do? Because of the definition of foreign key. That foreign key can only take either null values or it can take values from the column it is referencing to, right? So if Let's say, let's take a hypothetical example where there would have been three products, right? Five, six, and seven. In that case, none of the customers bought all the three products and the output is going to be null, right? So if, if we do the same thing or say apply the same logic that I just mentioned that count the number of distinct product keys for each of the customers. So for one and three, it is two and for two, it is one. And here the distinct products are number of the distinct products would, is going to be three, right? So five, six and seven, right? So in that case, since there is no equality, right? For any of the customer, then that is going to return null as well. So you see like in each of the test cases, it is going to pass. This logic is going to pass, right? And again, just to emphasize, this is only possible because it is mentioned in the uh, question that this column of customer table is a foreign key of the product table, right? So to develop this query from this table called customer, let's group by the customer ID column and then only keep those rows where the count of distinct product key is equal to this uh, the count of distinct product key from the product table. Now since we are filtering based on an aggregate value here we need to use having not where. So having count of distinct product key is equal to return the count of distinct product key from the 
product table and once we are keeping these or basically filtering based on this aggregation then we need to return the customer id right because that is the only column that we need the output for in the in the output right again just to reiterate this is only possible because it is mentioned that this product key column of the customer table is a foreign key to the product table right and because of that since this column can only take either null values or the values from this and if we count all the distinct values right and that is equal to the count from the product key and obviously since product key column so this column is a primary key for this product table it is mentioned here right product key is the primary key column for this table so it will not have any non-null unique values so it works and it will return all the customer ids where the customer bought all the products from the product table okay so let's go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it actually it is a very pretty simple question not that much difficult the only thing that you need to keep in mind is what values a foreign key can take because otherwise if you don't know that then you might be you know thinking of a way to try to see that for each of the customer ids whether all the products are in the products uh, product key of the product table right and that can get tricky let me know if you can think of uh, you know solution in that way or you have a better efficient solution to do this put down the solution in the comment below and until then i will see you guys in the next video